Okay, so for our front squat, we're gonna get the bar in a front rack position here, and then we're going to perform a squat. Now there's a couple different ways I like to get into that front rack position. Uh, one way is gonna be just getting your hands underneath like this if you have really good flexibility. Uh, most people don't have that flexibility, so one thing you can do when you're in this position here, if this is causing stress on your wrists or your shoulders, is you can just, if this is the bar here, you can just bring one pinky out or two pinkies out like this, and this allows you to get into proper position like that. Uh, if that still doesn't work, some people like to use the cross technique. I don't like to do this because this limits the amount of weight you can use because it's going to dip you forward and your arms are going to be the limiting factor in the movement other than your legs. Uh, if you don't have that flexibility, my personal preference and what I use is straps. So I will get the strap just like this. This is just a standard lifting strap and I loop it around the bar like this and then I pull it down like this. So when that's in that position here, you're, this is allowing you to pull yourself into position with the strap rather than yanking yourself into position if you don't have that flexibility. So again, we're just gonna loop it around, pull down into position. I like to line these up to where the, the smooth part and the knurling meet up in the middle, and that's gonna be my starting position. From here, palms are gonna come up. You're gonna rotate your palms just like this to secure yourself on that, uh, that, that uh, strap, and you're gonna get into position here. You're gonna reach forward just like this, pushing your elbows forward and standing straight up. From here, we're taking three steps back. One, two, and that third one is just to get lined up. From here, we're imagining reaching the foot elbows forward, not up, forward, keeping the core nice and tight, going straight down, coming straight up. Make sure your core is nice, nice and braced. I'm squeezing my abs. Now come back up. We're gonna walk back and lower at the same position. Make sure that your elbow position, you're not flared up here. This is gonna cause the, the ribs to flare up. We want the ribs to stay down. So we want our elbows to drive forward in that bottom position. Make sure that your, your, knee, your toes are pointed out slightly. And as you come down, your knees stay in line with your toes. You do not cave in like this. So knees gotta stay in line, chest has to stay up for the front squat. 